how it had. I'll just give you a few things have changed here since we talked last, uh, which would I guess would have been yesterday. Evan and I started working in this back back trunk area, and as a, I started to pull out and clean off these sections, the extent of the the rusting here was was uh, a lot more clear, and so. Essentially, you know, there's perforation all the way across here, all the way across there, all into those corners, you know, all, all underneath here. You can actually, there's a hole that goes into the, into the um, uh, spare tire uh, container underneath here. So I've decided that I'm actually just going to replace, replace the floor. So I've put an order in for that. Hopefully it comes, um, it's of course the... Christmas rush and everything is hard to, to move. So in any case, it's I'm just going to replace the floor. So I think Evan and I will spend some time just drilling out the well spot welds in, in various places here so that this can all come apart um, uh, smoothly. I've also actually in the process of looking up floors, I discovered that you can purchase a, a repair panel that is one piece that starts from here, goes all the way across the bottom and all the way up to here. Maybe it goes up at an angle, I can't quite remember. So all these things that I've been spending the last weeks trying to fabricate this thing, uh, I can actually buy for not too completely ridiculous sum of money, this repair piece. So I've, I'm gonna order that. It has to come from the UK. I'm a company called Rumor Brothers, but uh, that will um, save me a lot of grief with these corners and and it's i know that i'll it'll be hard to get it to a place where i'll be satisfied so uh, i think that will be better than uh, me uh, developing my skills doing these 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 funny pieces so so as part of all that um so this is going to stay this rear this rear apron is going to stay uh and so it's all dented up so i just i'm going to uh Take a hammer and dolly and see if I can clear that up. When Evan, when Sleeping Beauty wakes up, I'll have him come out and we'll start drilling out some of the spot wells that hold this floor in. Uh, what we'll end up also doing is removing the, the spare tire uh, well because it is spot welded across the top here uh, to the floor. So that will come out. That remote involves removing a bunch of spot wells all along here and all along here and all along here. And so that that's a, and then there's actually a seam weld all the way across, across the top. So that's not great that I have to do all that, but um, when I look in here, um, actually, let me grab this flashlight. When I look down inside here, and you probably can't tell on the camera, but all the way down inside there, there's some very deep pitting. It is, I'm surprised it's not all the way through. So I will need to assess that and take a look to see what, and that will be much better done once it's actually out, out of the car. And so um, when we stun that, then I'll be able to properly repair those pieces there's a repair that I need to do here. Uh, but at the end is sort of, uh, I'll have to, I'm sure, fabricate some pieces down there because this is either extremely expensive or not available. And those are fairly smooth, um, just curves. And so I'm pretty sure that I can get that uh, famous last words, uh, something like the ones I said <laughs> for these corners here. But uh, in any case, this will come out uh, the floor will come out, and then uh, we'll repair this. The floor goes back in. This thing here will be spot welded back to, not spot welded, but at least um, plug welded back into the floor. And I'll probably have to turn this whole thing upside down because I'm not going to do any um, any uh, plug welding upside down. That's just, that's not going to happen. Uh, and so uh, that gets, that's a complication. But in any case, I wanted to take a picture, show you sort of what this looked like before, and then I'll go ahead and spend a, a little bit of time with a hammer and dolly, and we'll see how nice and smooth I can get this. It should 
I should be able to get it almost perfect. Uh, and so <laughs> I'm pretty confident I can at least get that done today <laughs> instead of sort of having to, you know, do by fix by catalog. Any case, take care now and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. There you go, Dad. You can see it's starting to get a little bit better. I'll get you another update in a bit. Hi, Dad. Been spending a little bit of time on this back piece here this afternoon. Uh, it's a lot better. Still not done yet, but I've got the light sort of sitting down here to sort of accentuate all of the all the bumps and wiggles in there. And then I'm just slowly just, you know, smoothing that out with a hammer and dolly. And it'll take some time to get that all um, sorted out, but it'll eventually come back to be baby bottom smooth. And so um, I figured that was the one thing I could do today. And so I'm making a little progress and at least it'll, it won't look as bad and won't, it'll stop bugging me a little bit when once it's uh, it's sorted so uh, that looks okay and um, I think I'm not sure what else I'll do today I got some errands I need to do so this may be about the end of it for today so I'll just probably wrap it up soon here and send you something <clears throat> but uh, that's the goings on I hope you're doing okay talk to you later bye